Today, China has successfully launched the Long March 8A carrier rocket. China has successfully launched a low-orbit satellite for satellite internet, a new milestone for China's space program. Long March 8A rocket successfully launched. Recent news from China's space sector is another testament to its progress. A Long March 8A carrier rocket successfully launched a low-Earth orbit satellite for a satellite internet constellation, placing it into its designated orbit. While this may seem like just another routine space mission, it carries significant implications in the increasingly competitive global race for low-Earth orbit. As space resources become scarcer, low-Earth orbit has emerged as a strategic high ground for major powers. SpaceX's Starlink project has already deployed thousands of satellites, securing vast amounts of orbital and spectrum resources. Europe, Japan, and others are also ramping up their low-Earth orbit constellation efforts. China's frequent launches of low-Earth orbit satellites are not only a powerful response to its strategic needs but also a critical step in gaining an early advantage in international space competition. The Long March 8A carrier rocket, which undertook this mission, is no ordinary vessel. It's a star member of China's new generation of carrier rockets, integrating cutting-edge technologies like modular design and liquid oxygen kerosene engines. It is capable of launching multiple satellites with a single rocket and performing rapid launches. The Long March 8A has already successfully completed several missions, earning a reputation for high reliability and cost-effectiveness. What other black technologies does it possess that allow it to stand out in this fierce space race? Let's take a closer look at this seemingly ordinary yet highly significant space event. In the following sections, we will explore China's grand strategy in the satellite internet sector and delve into the latest technological breakthroughs of the Long March rocket series. We'll cover everything from modular design and new materials to the covert competition between China and Western countries, and how the Long March rocket is poised to overtake the competition in the global space race. China's Grand Strategy for Satellite Internet Satellite Internet is the new battleground in global tech competition. Western countries have already established a significant presence, with SpaceX's Starlink being a household name. As of May 2025, it has deployed over 7,000 satellites, serving more than 5 million users in over 100 countries across North America, Europe, and Australia, a truly massive scale. Why are they so aggressive? Because satellite internet has immense potential. Whoever controls it could dominate future fields like communication, military, and commerce. In this global race, China has surged ahead with remarkable strategic focus and innovative spirit. As early as the year 2000, when the concept of international satellite internet was still in its infancy, China foresightfully included satellite internet construction in its national space development plan, establishing special project teams to conduct key technology research. On December 22, 2018, the Hongyun Project launched its first satellite from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. This 47 kg technology verification satellite not only carried China's independently developed Kaban broadband communication payload but also achieved a groundbreaking inter-satellite laser link test. This marked the transition of China's low-Earth orbit broadband communication satellite system from a theoretical blueprint to an engineering reality. Since then, the Chinese space program has entered an accelerated constellation era. On December 29, 2018, the first experimental satellite for the Hongyan constellation successfully entered orbit, providing functions like short message communication and navigation augmentation, laying the foundation for a global space-based information network. On January 16, 2020, the first satellite from Galaxy Space was launched by a Kuaizhou-1A rocket. As China's first Q-slash-V-band low-Earth orbit broadband communication satellite, its single satellite communication capacity reached 48 gigabits per second, setting a new domestic record. Today, China has formed a collaborative network of multiple constellations, including Xingyun Hongyan and Qianfan. The Xingyun Project focuses on narrowband Internet of Things applications and has built an experimental system of seven satellites to provide services for marine monitoring and emergency communication. 
that Jianfan constellation has an even grander vision to build a massive constellation of 14,400 satellites. It uses modular design and mass production technology, reducing the cost of a single satellite by over 60% compared to traditional satellites. Once completed, it will provide seamless global coverage and form a trio poly with OneWeb and Starlink and commercial satellite internet operations. The steady progress of these constellation plans underscores China's determination to overtake the competition in the satellite internet race and highlights the deep foundations of its independent innovation in space technology. Long March 8A, a new asset in space. The Long March 8A carrier rocket, which successfully launched the satellite internet satellite this time, is definitely a star product. It is a new generation medium lift liquid propellant rocket developed by China to meet the demand for launching large constellations into medium and low orbits. Since its maiden flight in February of this year, this has been its third mission, which means it has quickly developed the capability for high frequency, multi mission launches, something very rare for a new rocket in the history of international spaceflight. The Long March 8A rocket features many technical innovations. It uses the first stage and boosters from the Long March 8th rocket, but its second stage has been upgraded to a thicker, stronger body with a 7-ton payload capacity for sun-synchronous orbits. The launch team has continuously optimized the process, achieving a streamlined assembly, testing, and launch flow. In the assembly and testing facility next to the launch site, the next rocket can be assembled and tested in a state as close to launch ready as possible allowing it to be ready for launch upon leaving the factory, which significantly improves launch efficiency. Modular Design, the new intelligence of rocket technology. In rocket technology, modular design has been a major development trend in recent years, and the Long March series has made significant progress in this area. The Long March 8A rocket, for example, is a two and a half stage liquid propellant rocket. The core first stage is a 3.35 meter diameter liquid oxygen kerosene module. The core second stage is a 3.35 meter diameter hydrogen oxygen module, and it is equipped with two liquid boosters. This modular design is like building with Legos. Different modules can be flexibly combined according to mission requirements. Compared to modular technologies in the US and Europe, each approach has its strengths. Some advanced European and American rockets started with modular design earlier and have a wide range of applications. For example, some U.S. heavy lift rockets use modular combinations to adapt to different space missions, from crewed spaceflight to deep space exploration. They have done well in standardizing and generalizing their modules, allowing parts to be interchangeable between different rocket models, which reduces R&D and production costs. However, our Long March series of rockets focuses more on adapting to China's domestic space development strategy. For missions like launching low-Earth orbit satellite internet constellations, we design modules specifically to meet the requirements for payload capacity and launch frequency. New Materials – The Secret to a Lighter Rocket The application of new materials plays a crucial role in the development of rocket technology and the Long March series also has many highlights in this regard. For instance, the Long March 12th carrier rocket is the first in China to use a 3.8-meter diameter body. To make the rocket lighter, the second-stage fuel tank was innovatively built with a world-leading third-generation aluminum-lithium alloy material. This material has high strength, low density, and high rigidity. Compared to the second-generation aluminum alloys used in other Long March series rockets, its structural weight is reduced by 10% to 15%, its tensile strength is increased by 28%, and its yield strength is increased by 50%. European and American countries have long been leaders in applying new materials for rockets. They have invested heavily in R&D and have made many breakthroughs in carbon fiber composites and new alloy materials. For example, some U.S. rockets make extensive use of carbon fiber composites, which are strong and lightweight, effectively improving the rocket's payload efficiency. However, our Long March series has carved out its own path in new materials. We prioritize cost-effectiveness and domestic production in material development. 
while the third-generation aluminum-lithium alloy used in the long March 12th may have some gap compared to top-tier materials in Europe and the US. We maximize its performance through optimized design and manufacturing processes. This allows us to meet the rocket's performance requirements while keeping costs down. Moreover, we have achieved domestic production of these materials, ensuring our space missions are not limited by foreign technology.